Okay, adding a machine to NetInfo automatically. Um, ideally, what you should done is or what you should do is under the System Administration Bookshelf on Next Step 3.3, there is Setup Networking, which deals with uh, setting up networking via NetInfo. Actually, I probably need to set up NetInfo for all I know. Uh, it's recommended that you do read through this, especially the troubleshooting uh, shooting section. Um, but anyhow, this is how you do that. And the host manager and the network and the automatic host configuration for the root domain. You enter an IP address range, a temporary, uh, temporary IP that the machine uses to configure itself from, um, the password types. So server's root password, if you want to use the NetInfo uh, master's root password for authentication. Network password lets you set a specific password and none if you just want it to happen automatically without any passwords or any authorization um, authentication being done. Then you want to make sure that automatic host configuration is enabled. Once all that has been set up, it should be a case of entering in a host name and then pressing Y and entering in the root password or the server password or whatever. And bingo, that should now have automatically configured itself. Let's just find out if it has. So back to the next step we go. Into Host Manager. Let's open a host and find out. Okay, so it's added itself. Okay, perfect. From here as well, you can also set up any host name aliases or if it's in any net groups. So, for example, I could type in um, Next as a net group. And if I have a look at um, the other host, I can see that it's got two net groups Nets and OpenStep. <coughs> Again, this is OpenStep 4.2. I basically got net groups that are platform, uh, so the architecture, or the um, company involved, uh, manufacturer and whether or not it's next step or open step or what have you. You can enter in a uh, system owner. doesn't do anything as far as net info goes, it's just an information field. And you could set the type. So even though it's not a cube, let's set it to a cube anyway. And then save. And bingo. And if we log into this now, Okay, so it's picked up the host name. And it's picked up the IP address. So there you have it. <laughs> Automatically adding a machine to NetInfo.